What's up guys, welcome to Echo Productions, I'm Silas Willoughby, and today we're taking a look at a complete 4K editing computer and desk setup for under $1,000. The setup starts with a computer, and for that we're using a PC from CyberPower. This specific model is no longer for sale, but the newest version goes for $560. It comes stock with 8GB of RAM, a 3.8GHz ADM processor, a NVIDIA GeForce 730 GPU, and a 1TB 7200 RPM hard drive. And while that can work okay, just like that for editing HD video, for 4K we need something a little beefier. So for $135 we replaced the RAM with 16GB of DDR3 RAM from Kingston. Then for another $70 we added a 250GB SSD from Samsung to run the Adobe Creative Cloud off of, since the internal drive is pretty slow. All that accounted for we are at about $760, and we still need a monitor and a desk. For the monitor, we went with this $130 24-inch ASUS monitor. It's pretty sharp and color accurate for a low-budget HD monitor. We now have just about $100 for the rest of the setup. So for the desk, I bought this really cheap desk from Ikea. For only $25, it's not the greatest, but it does the job. I do plan on upgrading it soon, however, but it certainly works. On top of the desk, I have this $10 plant from Ikea, which I really only bought because I thought it looked cool and this $10 lens cup. I wouldn't just leave my real lenses liner about, but it helps to add to the look I was going for. You may have noticed the LEDs in the background, and those were just $30 on Amazon, but they really add the most to the setup. Here's them off and them on. They can switch between tons of different colors or even just set them to fade if you want. Finally, we have $25 left to buy an SD card reader. I bought this one for $25 on Amazon, it's from Kingston again, and it plugs into a USB 3.0 port, so I can read and write cards at up to 500 megabytes a second. There are two things I haven't mentioned yet, my 8TB tower and my Pelican case. The tower isn't necessary to the setup, and it pushed the price beyond our $1,000 budget. But I've already almost filled it up, so if you're like me and you do a lot of client work or just work in general, you will need a couple of these. And the Pelican case really is just to lift the monitor up to keep me looking up so I'm not slouching while I'm editing. Finally, for my chair, I'm using this $20 desk chair from IKEA again. It's cheap, but reasonably comfortable, and it looks nice and clean. Anyway, I'm curious what you guys think, so make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos every week, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Anyway, this has been Echo Productions, I'm Silas Willoughby, and I'll see you in the next one.